what's going on you guys welcome back to another screw toy action figure review and today we'll be looking at the marvel legends the infinity saga avengers endgame iron man and thanos 2 pack and i got this set from my local target they said they had three in stock i went and looked and sure enough uh actually this was actually the last set that they had when i when i got there uh so pretty lucky to have this two pack a couple days early so i can review for y'all and uh, just overall, man, I'm really excited about this two-pack. Out of the whole Infinity Saga wave, this was the one I was looking for the most. Because I don't have a MCU Iron Man. I do have a MCU Thanos, but not in his armored up version. So very excited about this two-pack. But enough of me chattering on. Let's get a closer look at the box and then the figures themselves. Now getting a look at the box is going to be kind of tricky because it is a big, big box. Uh, kind of your standard two-pack size, but a little bit bigger because Thanos is a chunkier guy. So uh, in the front, you get a big display window to see everything that this two-pack com comes with. You know, all the accessories, the figures. You get Avengers Endgame logo up here, Marvel Studios, Legend Series. Uh, I've noticed that it says Legend Series instead of Marvel Legend Series. You get Iron Man Mark 85, Thanos, the Infinity Saga logo again marvel studios just so you don't forget that it is marvel studios they have to remind you twice uh warning choking hazard small parts not for children under three four and up so if you're under four you can't play with it which that's pretty surprising for a lot of them you usually see 15 and 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 up and i had to back up a little bit for this one as you can see it is out of frame on this side you get the logo marvel studios again so you don't forget the avengers logo um, a, a kind of a picture of all the Avengers characters, Marvel characters. You get Cap, Strange, T'Challa, get Iron Man here in the middle. You get, uh, what's it called, Thor from Endgame. You get Scarlet Witch. You get, uh, what's her name, Pepper Potts. You get the Falcon. You get Black Widow. You get, is that Wasp? That is the Wasp. You get the Hulk. On top, you get... Avengers Endgame logo, Marvel Studios, so you don't forget. You get Iron Man Mark 85, Thanos. On this side, you get a continuation of that mural from the other side, except on this side, you get the Guardians, and uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh no, you get Hawkeye and Ant-Man right there as well. And on the back, you get a poster of the Avengers Endgame movie. You get a read-up on Iron Man Mark 85 right here. You get a read up on Thanos over here, Legend Series, a whole bunch of warnings, Marvel, Hasbro, and uh, again, choking hazards and whatever in different languages actually. And then at the bottom, not much. If you need the barcode, there it is. Yep, but enough about this box, man. Let's crack them out of the box and get a closer look at the figures. Here are all the accessories out the packaging, and as you can see, it is quite a lot. So you get two hands for the nano gauntlet on Thanos' arm. You get a sword, four head sculpts. Most of them are reused except this one. This one's brand new, but we'll get a closer look at that right now. You get the sword that Tony uses in Endgame. And I believe he uses it in Infinity War, if I'm not mistaken. You get a hologram shield. Uh, you get three head sculpts for Tony. You get two gripping hands, two repulsor blast hands. And unfortunately, you only get one fist for the left arm and a snapping gauntlet head for the right arm. It would have been nice if they would have thrown in the right hand, the right fisted hand, and you get two repulsor blasts we've seen plenty of times. But let's get a closer look at Thanos accessories real quick and then at Tony's. And as you can see, this is a brand new scope for Thanos' gauntlet, nano gauntlet that he uses in Endgame. Um, without the stones if you know you've seen the movie hopefully no spoiler alerts but i mean it's been over a year two well, no, how long now damn two years since the movie came out so um you should be pretty familiar if you're not caught up with the movie then shame on you but as you can see it is just a simple red plastic plastic that is molded in no paint no no real anything some detail some paint would have been nice but it, it's good as is you can see it is in the snapping pose when he's about to snap. And then he realizes that Tony actually took all the stones. Here you get a fisted one with all the stones in them. As he does have, 
he does will the nano gauntlet with all the stones for a little bit but uh very briefly um as you can see oh, again nice red plastic no real paint detail or anything sculpt is okay and you can see all the uh infinity stones are painted in just a simple um color no real gloss or metallic color in there just you know plain yellow plain purple and the rest of the infinities infinity stones and they're actually painted very well no real smudging or or anything or smearing you kind of see they missed the mark a little bit there and a little bit there but very minor not too bad and then you get his uh double bladed sword which looks really really nice i really do like that metallic gunmetal paint that we're seeing here on the blades um, nice sculpting and then the middle is like a um, kind of like a beige color almost like a very very light gold beige color I don't know how to really explain it but yeah I wish that was a lot more metallic gold as you can see to the previous sword that he came with uh, with the uh, armor Thanos build a figure it is uh, a lot more accurate compared to this whatever this is um, yeah, I guess it was off of concept art and yeah, this looks 10 times better and hundred percent more accurate to what we saw on screen. Again, looks very nice. A lot of nice details in there. Um, very nice metallic paint. Yeah, good sword and he does hold it very well in his hand. I will demonstrate here that in a little bit. And then he comes with, uh, let's look at the reuse heads. This one is what we got with the build a figure. It's just a simple um, armor Thanos head. Unfortunately, the helmet is not removable. Again, it is just a reuse of the armor Thanos build a figure head, but it is not removable. It would have been nice if it was removable. You could have put it on the other heads, but it is not. But again, nice gold paint, silver plastic. Face is nicely painted. You could see the teeth right there. And if I can get it to focus a little bit um, focus you can kind of see in there that the gums are a different shade of purple so that looks really nice so you can actually see the different colors and the gums just moving my lights here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better but yeah that looks pretty good and then you get this head sculpt over here which is the same head sculpt that came in the uh 10 year anniversary three pack with Thanos and mark 50 iron man uh obviously this one's a little bit decoed differently and a lot more accurate to what we see in the movie this one always had a i don't know always kind of looked off to me the one from the three pack i don't know it always kind of looked off to me like a little too soft or something i, I don't know how to explain it as you can see, this one's a lot more accurate and a lot better looking. Yep, so that's nice. I did forget to mention that I believe the armor Thanos head is a retool of this head. that came in a three pack as well. So, yeah, as you can see. The next head is the smiling head that we got with our original MCU Thanos from the first Infinity War wave that we got, Marvel Legends wave that we got from the Infinity War movie which is just a regular smiling Thanos head. And I don't know if y'all remember, but that first MCU build a figure Thanos was awful. That whole wave was awful. Everything was inaccurate, not, you know, movie accurate, but this one's decked a lot better. There's something off about the eyes though. They kind of look bulging and too big and too white for me. But yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Tony's accessories, he comes with this hologram shield, which I believe is the one that he uses in that scene when uh, Hulk is about to snap. And it's a little too small in my opinion. It should be bigger because remember he uses it against the ground all the way up to the top of his head. And we're looking at the body over here without any head or hands. So it doesn't even cover half of his body. So I wish it was a little bit bigger. Maybe a, and also a little bit more of a lighter blue plastic and a little bit more translucent. So it can be a little bit more accurate. I'm not sure if he uses on the battlefield. If I'm mistaken, please correct me. But it is nice, just a blue translucent plastic, a little bit of a translucent plastic, as you can kind of see my finger back there. Nicely sculpted, you can see all these lines, rivets, and stuff. And then it does come with a clip, but uh, it's a lot more sturdier than most clip-on shields and stuff. So um, I wouldn't be too worried about snapping that. And then he does come with a blade sword, again, Nicely detailed, very well sculpted. Uh, could have used a little bit of paint, maybe some silver or gold in these lines. Um, I do remember him using this against Thanos when he's swinging at him. So that looks really nice. I wish he would have came with two, but he only does come with one. Now looking at the hands, I believe these are reused from the first Mark 85 release that came in the... What wave was that? The Bro Thor build a figure wave. Again, nicely detailed. Has that pego in the middle to import to port those uh, blast effects. And it does have a hinge, thankfully. You know, you know, most of them have been molded to just be stuck like that, but these do have hinges. And then you get two gripping hands. Oh no, wait, I was mistaken earlier. I said that it only came with two fists, I mean one fist, but it does come with both fists. Sorry about that. So yeah, he does come with both sets of fists and you can see that the repulsor blasts are in there. Wish they would have painted them, but it is what it is. Nice silver paint, I did forget to mention, it does have nice silver paint on there. But yeah, but he does come with only one gripping hand. So if you want him to be gripping that sword, he can only grip it on his left hand. So that is a little unfortunate. And then lastly, he does come with the snapping I am Iron Man hand from that scene where he unfortunately dies. <laughs> but no, yeah, it is. Uh, it's really nice. Um, again, I wish they would have used the metallic paint on those Infinity Stones to really make it look like they're glowing. But they are in just those plain flat colors. Um, it is smaller, so they did miss the mark a little bit more, unfortunately. But yeah, it is very nicely detailed and sculpted. You can see the silver paint up there. And then you get the regular repulse blaster effects. Not much more to say that it is the same color as the blade and the shield. We've seen these millions and millions and millions of times. And then we get to the good stuff. So they did, um, I guess, retool the head and neck. So you can port it onto the head. And um, so when you port in the heads, it's not just, you know, the head and then the red neck it is the fully you know colored flesh neck because this is nano nanotech so it kind of goes to whatever he wants it but you can see it is just hollow in there with a the peg hole you can easily just peg it on it doesn't click or pop or anything it kind of just shapes into the rest of the body i don't know how well you can do it and it does come off pretty easy and then if you wanted to pour it in this head which looks Really nice. It's the battle damage head. And these two heads are the exact same. Just obviously this one's just has the battle damage. Bruising cuts and stuff. As you can see up close. Get it to focus. Turn down the lights a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, man, that looks really nice. And I think the likeness is pretty much 100% there. Um, not perfect, but almost, <laughs> almost perfect. I think this is the best uh, Robert Downey Jr. head that um, Hasbro has done. The Marvel Legends team has done. Yeah, especially if you look at it from the side. That's definitely Tony. I think the only thing throwing me off is maybe the hair. The hair is a little bit weird. Um, 
but it is very nicely detailed. The goatee, the mustache. You can actually see that the hair actually has a darker brown wash in there to really help bring out those details. And um, I think it was a good move for them to do that because if it would have just been that brown plastic, it would have looked too toy, toy like. I know that's dumb to say, as it is a toy. But uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, you can, oh, I'm always dropping shit. <laughs> as you can see, that is 100% uh, Tony right there. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, man. Yeah, especially from the side, side profile. Yep, that's him. Straightforward. It's there. I think also something that's throwing me off is that the sideburns a little bit too big and thick and stick out a little bit. But since it is plastic and it's such a small scale, it is kind of hard to not do that. But even looking up close, you can see that they digitally digitally printed the wrinkles on his forehead um yeah man i think that looks really good yeah really nice really really nice and again it does pour it onto the body fairly easy just boom and there you go pretty dope now getting a close-up look at mr iron man himself uh he is mostly just um the same figure that you got with the Bro Thor Mark 85, the only thing different is that the neck area is retooled to, you know, have that separate head and neck piece peg in. But yeah, still nice. Uh, they used a little bit more of a metallic gold uh, and more of a gunmetal gray for this figure. The only gripe I do have is that I wish the red was a lot more uh, richer, I guess, a lot more hot rod red this is just a plain red plastic i wish it was painted a red metallic color to really you know make this figure pop more than it already does but again he is mostly reused look at the head sculpt it is very nice really really nice clean paint paint no real smudging or smearing or um uh, bleeding onto the red or the you know the gray bleeding on or you know it's just really nice paint you can see that the eyes are painted white to give it that glowing effect, which looks really nice. See all the details right there, all the lines and panels going on. Top of the head, not much. I don't know what's going on there. Some paint on top of there. But you can see the gold looks really, really nice and reflective. Yeah, that looks really nice. And I like how they did the arc reactor where it's mostly white, but they did have a nice little blue trim to really give it that glowing effect. They did the same thing with the Mark, the new Mark III that's releasing here soon. Hopefully I can find that figure so I can review for you guys. But you can also see that they punched in that light blue here in those little uh, arc reactors. It looks really nice. Again, nice gold paint all down the arm, down the panels. You see that gunmetal gray but yeah man you can see it's mostly just reused unfortunately they did not read to the arms to have uh, pinless technology so you can see that the silver does kind of break up that gold which is uh, unfortunate but what can you do man um, we've been asking Hasbro for years and years to fix that, and now they are, but I wish they would have retooled those arms. They already retooled the neck, so what more would have, I mean, I know it would have cost them more money, but it would have been nice if they retooled the arms to have no pins. But yeah, you can see that the hinges do have sculpting, sculpting in there as well. See the back of the arms, the back, all these nice panel lines and stuff going on. Yeah, man, looks really nice. Pretty dope. That gold, that gold looks really good. Even in, inside of the thighs. This fits a little bit more better because, you know, that area is gray. That pin is gray. This area is gold. That pin is gold. But it would have been nice to have pinless technology on this figure as a lot of the new figures don't have any pins. And now I'm spoiled and I want all my figures to have no pins. <laughs> but, yeah, Nice boots, bottom of the feet, 
you get no detail, no treads or anything, but it doesn't really bother me. And no real marvelous marbleization here in the red plastic. It is pretty solid. I mean, you can kind of see some here on this ass cheek, but not too bad. You can see a little bit here, but not too bad. You can see some here on the chest, but not too bad. So it, look, it looks fairly good, and the paint does go all the way through. Uh, on the back, it does stop there, but that's just the setup it is, the way it's set up, so not too bad. But yeah, man, nice figure. And again, to change the head, you just pop off the neck and head, and we'll pop on a nice clean Tony Stark. Yeah, man. I think I might have him displayed like this without without the helmet. So I really like this head sculpt. Again, the likeness is really, really spot on with this Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr. head. So I think I'll probably display him like that. And then to clip on the shield, it does just clip on there nicely. Again, a little too small. Um, but it's okay. I don't know if I'll probably have him display with this shield, but it is kind of loose, man. So as you can see, it just kind of <laughs> slides off. Maybe if I shimmy it a little bit higher, yeah, it kind of stays on there. But um, yeah, it's got to be higher on the forearm and not on the wrist because it will just slide down and move everywhere. But yeah, that's real nice. But yeah, I wish it was bigger because I believe this is the shield that he, you know, uh, projects when Hulk is about to snap and he's covering himself in Hawkeye. So I do wish that was a little bit bigger, but it's okay as if is. Um, and then he does come with that. I think it was the left gripping hand. The left? No, shit, wrong hand. Pop this one back on. Uh, yeah, no, it is the left hand. I'm, I'm tripping since I am facing it the other way. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not good with my lefts and rights. Great at memorizing all the stuff about action figures. But when it comes to basic knowledge, not there. But yeah, he does hold that blade fairly well in that hand. As you can see, uh, looks nice. If you want him, you know, chopping at Thanos, you can. And it's on there pretty good. It's not going anywhere. Kind of does move flop around but it's okay not bad and then if you wanted the i am iron man hand that i put that nope did not put that on the right hand god damn i'm all backwards today <laughs> right there and it's put on an open repulsor blast hand there you go and there you go you got the i am iron man hand and then let's swap out the head. Put the battle damage one on. Oh, there we go. We can have him. Right there. And you can have this set up right here. And I am Iron Man. Bah! Yeah, so that's pretty good that you can get that um, scene specific shot with this figure looks pretty dope yeah man good figure overall if you don't have you know the original mark 85 because i know in the second hand market he is pretty high now uh ridiculously high but don't feed into the scalpers because you know hasbro always comes around to re-releasing figures that people missed out and um are really sought off sought after but let's get a closer look at this guy's articulation with the Mark 85 head on. So the head can look up this much. And it is on a, um, I believe it's on a dumbbell joint. But that neck piece is just a peg. So he can look up just, literally just, uh, yep, just that much. Which is not much unfortunate since if you wanted to have him flying, uh, that's pretty much all you're going to get out of him which does kind of suck. Um, yeah, that's all you get up, which does suck. Uh, he can look down a lot further, though, so that's nice. You get really nice head pivot. So if you wanted to have, like, Thanos punching him, you can just, bleh, like that, and then 
bah, oh, there goes the with his arm. Go have him like, boom. see, so that works out. Nice head pivot. His arms move out this much, which is really nice. Uh, so you can get a nice T, T pose out of him. And I believe all the hands do hinge up and down. And let me see, does the blade holding hand? Yep, all the hands, every single hand hinges up and down and rotates a full 360. You get upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows to bend in a fair amount. You get a diaphragm cut up here and you can hinge, I mean hinge, you can bend that much backwards, that much forward, which is not much. You get some shifting side to side, no real movement, just a little bit of shifting. You get upper thigh cuts. He can kick uh, that much forward, which you kind of have to rotate it to the side. It's weird the way that moves up. See that? Yeah, that's odd. He does have upper, upper thigh cut, which I think I already said, but I'll say it again. He does have double jointed knees and he cannot kick his own ass, unfortunately. Um, he does not have a boot cut or anything. Uh, he does have ankle pivot. His feet hinge forward, none at all. It does hinge. Oh, those are real tight. Oops, scared. To, yeah, I'm scared to bend those. They do hinge that much back. So I don't know why this one's so tight, but yeah, I'm gonna have to heat that up. Now, getting a close look at Thanos, I believe he is pretty much the exact same as the build figure. Except for this upper plate right here, I think it is different. It's um, sculpted to have battle damage and, and, and look a little bit more worn and beat up. As the previous build a figure, it was just a nice clean plate. I believe the shoulder pad is different. Actually, I have both of the arms here somewhere. Yeah, as you can see, with the previous ones, the shoulder pads are nice and clean. As is the previous one, I mean, this one is uh, sculpted to be beat up. So shoulder pad and the upper chest area is new, sculpted to have battle damage. As you can see, you can see some of the gold paint chipped off and scraped away. But pretty much everything else is the same, exception of this lower forearm piece that is brand new. And this one as well, because I believe the previous one had the gauntlet. It came with the gauntlet, but I already popped it off. As again, it was from uh, concept art and not the actual final thing that we see in the movie. But yeah, man, pretty much the same as the previous. Gold paint, nice gray in between. Um, decent sculpt. I believe that the ankles were resculpted for him to actually have ankle pivot in there as the previous build a figure did not have any ankle pivot. But he still does not have any waist swivel, which uh, really does hinder this figure from getting some nice poses. But it is what it is. As you can see, the chest armor, the upper armor. He has his little tunic down here, which is a fairly soft plastic. As you can see, that this uh, gauntlet type forearm protection, again, sculpted to have battle damage. And the previous one did have the... Uh, the shoulder pad up here but for some reason i think maybe he loses it at the end of the movie when uh scarlet witch starts kicking his ass <laughs> so um yeah i think he loses it and uh, again the back has all that battle damage that worn uh, beat up it is just a, uh, a gold paint over this uh dull gray plastic i wish there was a wash to really help bring out those um that damage and all these little dents and creases and scratches to really really emphasize those nick scratches and dents i might give it a wash here later but we'll see as you can see the back nicely sculpted with all those panel lines and um nice texture and stuff going on there you can see his tunic runs down here the belt is damaged as well you can see thanos's butt and he does have some nice details there that that was weird i'm sorry about that Nice legs, boots look good, bottom does have peg holes, but yeah man, 
mostly we're using here is the nano gauntlet if you wanted a close shot of that yeah man pretty dope and i did thanos last because again i wanted to do a little modification that i will do here in a second but let's get a closer look at his articul articulation real quick <clears throat> so thanos can look up uh this much which is <laughs> better than uh mr stark over there uh, but that hinge is gold for some reason, so that looks ugly, and it does get a little gappy. Actually, you can look a lot further up, but it does get a little gappy, and that hinge is gold. Don't know why it's not silver or that gray plastic. So, yeah, don't know the reason behind that. He can, if you can shift his head forward a little bit, he can bury his chin all the way. Uh, his head is on a ball and hinge, so no, uh, no um, dumbbell joint. He gets eh, a little bit of shifting back and forth. No real head pivot. His arm moves out without popping it off that much up. So you can hit a T-pose. There we go. Hit a nice T-pose. He has, and this arm keeps wanting to pop off. <laughs> he does not have upper, um, what's it called, bicep swivel, which does kind of suck, but then... I guess they did it so they wouldn't break up that sculpt, which is nice. You can see the veins right there. At first, I thought that was a seam line, but I believe that's supposed to be a vein, if I'm not mistaken. But he does have a single jointed elbow that bends in about 90 degrees. So, not bad. And it does swivel. As you can see, you can rotate it to full 360 if you like. Uh, no rotation here at the gauntlet, but it does have swivel at the hand, and it does hinge up and down. So that's nice. The chest plate or the chest area, the upper body. I don't know why I'm forgetting the words right now, but yeah, he does crunch this much forward and that much back. Again, no waist swivel or anything, which is a little unfortunate. Don't know why they didn't put that there, but yeah, so you can only really get that much out of this torso area. There we go. That's the word I was looking for, Tor torso area. And, uh, yeah, no swivel. I guess because this tunic gets in the way and it would break up the scope. Not too sure, but I wish there was a weight swivel right there. Uh, he does have upper thigh cuts, so you get some rotation out of that. He has double jointed knees, and, yeah, he can kick his own ass. So that's nice. It's crazy that Thanos is a lot more flexible than Tony. Uh, he does have ankle pivot, unlike the other one, so I do like that they did fix that. Wish it would have fixed the waist swivel though. But uh, yeah, ankle pivot. He can hinge this much forward, which is not much. And he can hinge a little bit more back. But yeah, nice articulation overall on Thanos. Again, only real complaint is that waist swivel. So what I wanted to modify on this Thanos is that um, we don't get any armor armored Thanos with just regular arms. Each one of them did come with a gauntlet. This one came with the nanotech gauntlet on the right arm. The previous one came with the um, regular gauntlet on the left. So we don't get no just regular armored Thanos. But I do have the previous arms from the Build-A-Figure armored Thanos. So we're going to heat them up, pop them off, and then pop them onto this one. So let me go do that, and I'll be right back. Here we have armored Thanos without any gauntlets. And uh, yeah, man, I really like how this looks. It's not 100% accurate, as you can see, that this is a lot more bronze. And this is a gray. And this is battle damage. This is, and this side isn't. But, I mean, you can always just chalk it up to he got hit on this side and it got battle damage. And, you know, it's okay. It looks decent just like this. Um, pretty much going to have him displayed just like this without any gauntlets. Uh, all I did was... You know, by the right arm that came with Nighthawk from the armor Thanos build a figure wave. And then this arm, what I did was it's the left arm that came in the Dan armor Thanos build a figure wave. I can't remember what figure it came with. If I remember, I'll add a little screenshot of what figure it came with over here somewhere. But yeah, so what I did was I heated it up with a blow dryer. I popped this part of the arm, the lower forearm, off which was this section right here and then i um yeah popped it off which was the gauntlet 
the inaccurate gauntlet hand, pop that off. And then the arm that he came with, I pop that lower forearm off. And then I tried to stick it together, but the blow dryer wasn't making the plastic soft enough, soft enough for me to pop that for, lower forearm all the way in. So I had to boil this upper part like really, really hot so it can get really, really soft, which took quite a while. And once it was really, really soft, I forced this lower forearm as hard as I could until it popped in there. And yeah, man, it, it took a lot of <laughs> a lot of hard pushing. And uh, as you can see, my hand is red as hell from trying to push it in there. And yeah, man, it's um it's in there pretty well now. I don't think it's gonna come out. But yeah, that was a pain in the ass. These arms though don't stay on there very well. But yeah, as you can see, he's fully armored without any gauntlets, and I think he looks great and you can always add this gauntlet arm back if you want to all you have to do is just pop the arm off and put this one in but yeah i really do like how it looks without any any gauntlets i think this is how he should have came with or came in the first place so yeah looks pretty dope pretty nice what do you guys think i think it looks pretty awesome for some size comparisons here we have armor thanos next to mark 85 and uh yeah, man, let's, let's have a little fun with these. I'm bringing in the three-pack Thanos from the 10-year anniversary line. Um, I think these two scale very well. They're pretty much the same height. I think Armor Thanos is just a tad bit taller, but it's because of the boots and the helmet kind of make them look a little bit taller. But if we have them back-to-back, -back, you can see that they're pretty much the same height. And I think these three look pretty good together. As you can see, this is the older Thanos and this is the younger, more vicious Thanos. But I think it looks really nice. You know, the skin tones match pretty well. And yeah, man, I think it's nice to have these two together. Bringing in another Marvel Legends. Here we have the Bucky from the new Disney Plus wave. And uh, you can see that he is um, rightfully so shorter than Mr. Iron Man over here. Man, he's having a really hard time standing with those ankles. But yeah, you can see that he is a lot shorter than Iron Man and especially Thanos. But yeah, man, I think that um, these scale pretty well. Bringing in another villain that defeated the Avengers. The only other villain that defeated the Avengers. Mr. Um, Baron Zemo. Yeah, again, he is shorter than Tony and Thanos appropriately. Here we have Thor from the SH Figure Arts line. And... Uh, he is from the uh, Endgame movie, so appropriately does go well with these. Um, he is a little bit on the shorter side. I believe Tony is a little bit taller than him. But let me see if I drop down his legs. That makes him a little bit taller. So dropping down those legs. Um, yeah, gives him a little bit of a height advantage. Oop. Uh, on Tony so I think that can work I mean it is a guy in armor so um, yeah you can make that work and I think he looks great next to this Thanos so, let's kill him properly this time but yeah he uh, yeah I think he looks good with these two next we have the Mayfex Iron Spider and uh He's a little on the short side, man. Uh, I think he should be just a tad bit higher, but you can make it work. I mean, I think he looks pretty great next to Thanos himself. I think that this height difference is good. I don't really care too much for this height difference, but you can always make it work. You can have him crouching or jumping or something. So yeah, I think this looks nice. Here are both of the figures on the rotating base. And overall, man, this set is, um, this is pretty okay. You know, nothing too wild, nothing too crazy. With a little bit of modifications, you can get a better Thanos. As I did replace that gauntlet hand with just two regular arms, it, which is the Thanos I've always wanted. I know that they have the SH Figure Arts am armor Thanos, but aesthetically, he's not... I don't know, man. I feel like when SH does certain figures, especially live-action figures, it always has kind of an anime feel to it. So this Marvel Legends one is perfect. The articulation is it's okay and the uh, the likeness is, is pretty spot on the only thing that i really 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 dislike on this armor thanos 
is that it has no waist swivel, man. That really, really hinders a lot of poses that I can't get out of him. Like I really wanted him to kind of be like swinging to the side uh, with Iron Man, but that that waist swivel really does hinder a lot and, and and stops you from getting some really good poses and some really good shots when you're taking photography. The Iron Man, he's he's probably the best out of the set. He comes with a whole bunch of accessories. He comes with two great, great Rob, Robert Downey Jr. head sculpts, which are pretty, they are the exact same head sculpts, just one with battle damage and uh, cuts and bruises, and the other one just nice and clean. But this Iron Man does come with a lot, a whole bunch of hands, a whole bunch of weapons. He comes with that blade that he's holding. He comes with the shield, uh, the snapping. Um, I am Iron Man hand right here. Which is again really nice, but yeah, he's 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 a good you know the best out of the out of the two. I'd say if you don't have any of these two and their original forms, you know the um, the armor that no, which was the bro the bro Thor build figure wave Mark eighty five and the armor Thanos build figure, I'd say get this set because uh, you know you get two and one. And uh, yeah, man, not not for a bad price either. I believe I paid after taxes like sixty four bucks for for this set, which is a nice price, um, not too bad. And uh, yeah, man, if you have the previous ones, I wouldn't say that this pack is really necessary. I mean, it is nice to get you know a little bit more weapons, a little bit more hands, and then the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpts for Iron Man and Thanos is nice that he came with you know. Um, the nano gauntlet arm and he came with an accurate blade so i mean if you really really nitpicky and really a stickler for you know accuracy then i say yes get the set but if you're you know okay with your previous ones then i wouldn't say the set is necessary for me it was definitely necessary because i don't have any figures uh, uh you know in this particular look i don't have actually any iron man from the mcu and I only had the Infinity War Thanos without the armor. So this set was a necessity for me. Well, no toys is a necessity, but you know what I mean. I really did need these two for my collection as I am getting my MCU, you know, shelf back up and, and going slowly but surely. But overall, man, I would rate this pack a and this is with you know not you no know, not you know not putting into consideration the previous two figures. I'd say a solid nine, nine and a half. It's just a really good figure. The uh, good figures. The only thing you know that that I really dislike is that Thanos doesn't have a waist swivel. I mean, he even comes with a dusted head, man. As you can see right here, you can see that you know his dusted head, man. That's 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 pretty dope. That that's you know just going above and beyond. So that is pretty dope. But overall, man, solid two pack. Uh, I know I didn't want to go too much in depth with it as it is a lot of reuse. And I wanted to keep this video a little bit shorter than, you know, uh, my previous videos. I know I rant a lot and go on for too long. Enough of me rambling on again. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for this two-pack or if it's an easy pass for you. Uh, make sure you follow me on my Instagram at Screw Toys. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, and I did forget to, to mention... Um, Let's get those subs up, man. A lot of the views that I'm getting um, are from people that are not subscribed. So let's get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, a hundred by the end of August. It's a challenge. I'm challenging y'all. Y'all better do it, man. Or I'm gonna have Thanos dust all of y'all. But have a great day. Bye. <laughs>